Father God, thank you so much for relationships. God, we want to pause right now to thank you for a room full of people who have loved and shaped Jeff and Megan. We ask that you make yourself known today, that you make yourself obviously known throughout Jeff and Megan's marriage. Megan, you have always been such an amazing friend to everyone you meet. You strive to include everyone and make sure that they have an best time possible. I mean, look at today. You have such a kind heart and always try to stay positive, and that's what we love about you. You're a rarity today. You're, you're an increasing rarity. You're uh, the guy at the bar. You're the guy at the airport. You're the guy wherever you are that stares you down across the room, stands up, walks over, and puts out his hand. And you, and you shake their hand, and, and you get to know the person. It's, it's phenomenal. It's uncanny, the ability you have to connect with someone genuinely, and it's something that I truly envy of you. Megan, five years ago I saw you standing across the room at Old Chicago and remember thinking about how cute I thought you were. You were all smiles, your personality was bubbly and infectious, and I needed to get to know you. I wanted to be around you, and I wanted to spend more time with you. I found myself wanting to be the reason for that smile. Between your eyes and your smile, you quickly had me falling for you, and once I started falling, I couldn't stop. To my husband, I knew since the first time I ever got to hang out with you, this would be a forever thing. I am so excited to continue creating life with you. It's just another step in our path, one with so much more life to come with it. Today is the start of so much more, and for that, there are so many things that I vow to you. I vow to accept you as who you are, because that is the person who I fell in love with. I vow to always fight for us, to remember that we create the love, and together we can do anything. Five years has flown by, and it makes me sad to think how quickly it has gone. The thing that gives me solace is knowing that we have a lifetime more together, and every moment we spent with you. They have just done wonderful things together. They complement each other so greatly. And the way she looked at him, I went, this is it. This is it. Some of you have known Jeff and Megan from birth. Their whole lives, you've known them apart. Others of you have only known Jeff and Megan together. Regardless of how your lives have connected, you've played some important role in their lives to be here today. And it's an incredible honor. When we first met, I asked you why you're choosing each other. And Jeff, you said, that Megan takes interest in me. It's not just an interest, it's an investment, it's a care, it's a support. And if you remember, you said she cares about me in a way that no one else has. Megan, you said from the early stages, we talked about and aligned on who we wanted to be. You said that he's the most supportive and encouraging person in your life you finished with, this is the man that I want to build a family with. Mego, I love you so much and I love that we still talk every day even though we're states away. We're so happy that you found your soulmate, someone you can share your kindness with and always be laughing and smiling together. We've seen your re relationship grow from the beginning. We were both by your side from your first I love you and we're honored to be by your side when you said I do. And as we do this, I want to say to you, Jeff, that there are no words in the English language could possibly put into context the amount that I value your friendship. So we want to take this opportunity to have everyone raise a glass. 
Let's toast to a bright future for Mr. and Mrs. Bergeron. Thank you for the last five years, and thank you for saying I do to a lifetime more together. I like you, and I love you, and I can't wait to see you walk down that aisle. Always yours, your husband, Jeff. Well, based on the promises that you made here today, in front of friends and family, and before God, you are now husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.